Hi. It's been a while that I posted some videos and finally I'm back. A lot of things changed. I switched from my MacBook Pro to a Lenovo and I think it's one of the best notebooks I ever had. Physically, I mean, physically, I mean, by periods, like not for sure. This um, Apple device is really more professional in that case. In some cases, especially in uh, if you in a creative way, but uh, still, this one. If you know my background story, I'm more a simple person. I like it more simple, and this is the best thing I ever could do to myself. Like. Uh, I installed fresh uh, Ubuntu on top, so I have like yes, and I installed uh, Ubuntu, and I have in fact now the best device I could ever imagine for myself. Like it's. Beautiful notebook, beautiful uh, software, beautiful, uh, but uh, never mind. The most important thing is that today I will show you how to um, how to make uh, how to add or install um, wine. It's like uh, some basic configurations so that people who have problems generally to uh, start doing something just because it's not so easy to configure everything. So we will start with a wine and afterwards I will show you how to install uh, Yabridge. It's some tool, some software which allows you to uh, register these plugins to the wine emulation. So in that case, if you start your DAW, if you start Reaper, whatever, you can use your plugins. And these two steps I will show you. And the third step will be, I will show you how to uh, install the first free plugin and then how to use with, uh, or how to register it in Yabridge. So, Let's go. First, uh, what I wanted to show you is that we need um, this wine website. You can find there. And I will post also the link. But I found some better description on this website. And I think if we just follow these steps, it will be uh, much quicker and easier. So what we need is to use um, the terminal and we will try the first step which will be by some reason i have no idea why but uh, we need to um, enable 32-bit support so we will do this just by typing and i think that's all so there is no special uh, uh, yes like no special reaction the next step step will be to choose this part also just add i did a mistake seems like did not copy but now should work and so as soon as we come to step three you need to watch which version of ubuntu you have because this is very important just don't type this both um lines it's important and you can check out the mm, the system which uh, version you have by typing neo fetch and this shows quite well which uh, number you have in my case i have 23 uh, so i have to use this line of code uh, in case you don't have neo fetch just use this command and it will uh, install very quickly let's plug in well 
after doing that, it should look something like that. So as long as you don't have errors and uh, red uh, colors, it seems to be everything fine. Well, after that, we can check uh, step four. And it's just about, uh, you see, like installing Wine itself. And in my case, I use the stable version and I clicked J for yes. So no need to push no. And as I said, if I'm a bit too quick, just ask me anytime uh, and I will help. About this red part, this is very important because uh, it explains you very well that if something doesn't work, just delete, remove and try again because I myself also did the same thing. And um, by the way, this is a Wine HQ, the basic website, but as I said, uh, I don't want to uh, use it because it's... So what we are going to do is, as soon as you get this uh, error, you need to push install, because this means that something is missing, something with mono, I don't know what exactly it is, but uh, we need that. So if you get this message, just install and try to install the missing parts, like the compatibility with the Windows. And if everything works fine, you should get this uh, configuration window. And in fact, this is uh, mm, as much as you can see from Wine itself. There is like no visible uh, um, program, software, whatever. So, as you see, I checked and my actual version 2024 February is Wine 9, so it works. Let's check again, configuration. And, and you can add here different kind of uh, add-ons if you have some plug-in in compatibilities or some Windows things missing, something like that. Well, the next thing we need is Yab Bridge. And yeah, bridge is, as I explained, very important because we will have no other chance to see, see the VST plugins inside our door. So as you see, uh, I will use um, Reaper because it has no compatibility problems. Some people might offer me Ardor because it's a free door, but some plugins may cause problems and this is what I don't want to have at the moment because I also need time to be creative, that's very important. So the first thing we will do is to watch at A, there is written, uh, there is a link to release page. If you push this, you will come to the next another site where you can scroll down and find this package, which you can download. This Yab Bridge five one zero. In my case, it's the newest one. So I will just extract this, um, like by drag and drop, Windows. And in my case, just if you make a double click, it will. Uh, uh, extract and what I'm going to do is to as you see let's read B B is uh, extract the content of the downloaded archive to local share so I need to find a local share to uh, copy paste this uh, yeah, bridge files like this complete folder which I will extract I will put there so let's check we need to find um, local and by the way you need to push uh, it's like a hidden file you can just push uh, like control and J I think well so we need to uh, find local and share and as soon as we did that we need to uh, copy this extracted file inside uh, the share 
folder and that's in fact all so and the next step is just to open uh, this this uh, yeah bridge in terminal and it can be done by just right click open in terminal because it's important so you have this uh, uh, link to this place in my case i did a mistake as you see i tried to start ia bridge but it didn't work because i need to add dot slash and then ia bridge ctl so one more mistake but the next one will be correct so dot slash ia bridge ctl so that's all and we officially can use ia bridge there are some different kind of uh, let's check again this will be already the next stuff we need vst vst3 but i didn't use them i just put everything inside plugins folder so i think it's not so important but never mind you shouldn't listen everything to me but that's this will be seen soon and the most important the most important part is that we should add our first plugin in that case i decided to use spitfire audio and spitfire audio is an orchestra orchestra with with a lot of possibilities you can even download more um sounds so that's an absolute must in my case especially because i want to produce also orchestral like gaming music and that's why i decided to use this one it's very powerful it's well done and what we need to do first is to download it and you can do this by just register yourself on this website and you will get on your email a link where you can download then this uh, manager this management tool of spitfire so that's why i'm showing you my email because i already registered myself and the only thing i need to do is then open the link download the app choose windows because i'm using linux so to make it compatible with wine that's the only way and let's make bit space i'm just using 14 inch but well so wine already works that's the best part looks like windows so just use uh, next button install actually it's important to check also in which folder you copy it and in that case it would be surely necessary to choose between vst2 vst3 but as i said i have my uh, special folders this will I, I will show you soon and as soon as i just copy the files in this place there is no problem and also don't forget please this is just the spitfire app so there is no vst instrument which we can activate with uh, yeah bridge it will come just later uh, or even not i'm not sure just don't listen what i said we will we will see the next step and understand what i mean so finish it worked and that's by the way the worst part uh, because you need to minimize like close this window and just open again to see uh, this window so you see nothing except just clicking something then closing the window or minimize for example i clicked on accept then i 
just made minimize open again and only then you see uh, this next window i need to type my email like again clicked just you can't see it so i type my email password again minimize and it's honestly a bit annoying but um as i said sometimes it's just the best to have an opportunity than having no opportunity and uh, yes we need to click log in one more time log in log in close open this is sometimes annoying but i push to wait again minimize okay and here we have um, important decision a spitfire is just well not so important <laughs> it's just the place the path where we will install spitfire once again this game this might be important about 64 bit but as i said i didn't care much about it because there is vst plugins folder and in that folder i also um will later or this folder i will add later inside um yeah bridge that's why uh, for me seems to be right and there it is we have our first orchestra plug-in but there is a little mistake and i will show you soon what i mean by that because Let's first go back. With I'm going to do by the way again mistake. Like don't forget to push dot slash yeah bridge ctl. It's like the command status and with with status you can check which plugins you already have or all the plugins are listed on a list so in my case i don't see anywhere my new orchestra plugin and this has a reason but i will explain you why and i can tell you for sure it took me a lot of time especially if you are not used to linux then you will get all these interesting errors and that's why nobody should judge me it's like happening if you are not used but anyway well what we have right now is solution i solved my problem and it was uh, a bit complicated but i solved it so let's check it together what i did was uh, do, 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 do. let's go first back so while installing spitfire there was um, this orchestra already installed but that's a mistake because uh, i clicked first on this button you know always this trouble and in that case you see repair locate but before because there is written install there were more options there was something like reset so you have to click on the reset and if you don't see results again the same way and you should then install and just choose the right folder and click c usually it's c go to program files there is a speed by audio and there is vst plugins and there is the place you want to go vst plugins in my case i will just stop because i will show you something so in that case we will go back spitfire that place c program files by audio is empty let's just take this one program files vst plugins open and there it will be downloaded so click download did he did he choose the right path let's watch program files see program files vst plugins yes it's downloading 
And as you see, it's like very funny. It shows only if you continue it that way. So let's do first download and then we'll continue. So yes, seems like it's installed. If I check, like click on installed products and it might be ready. So the next thing we will do is, you can already see after doing that, you need to add this folder. So this means I installed it here and you can find this. Let's go, uh, if some people have really have problems to find that, it's under personal order. And then if you don't find wine, you should push CTRGH, like to appear the hidden files. And then you will see uh, wine, drive C. And as you see, like I had two options and I choose program files, VST plugins. And we need now to add this path by copying like you can also just type it another way, but I just copied this direction and you need to add, I already did that some minutes ago, like that. I don't know in uh, how it will work with you, but in my case, it's not shown in um, this description in the internet. You need to make dot slash and then yeah, bridge CTL add home uh, wine drive C program files and not Spitfire audio. That's wrong. We need to choose, what was it? VST plugins, VST plugins. So it might work now if we just add, let's check. Uh, yeah, Brit G CTL status. So we see uh, BBC Orchestra 64-bit DDL not synced. So let's sync it because that's, uh, you can find here, comments. You have add, we edit the location. Now we need to sync. So let's try to sync. Yeah, bridge CTL sync. And it shows new. Uh, to check that it really work, we need to make lists of plugin install. No, we need to status. Show the installation status of all plugins. Mm, okay, let's check. So in that case, if everything works fine, it might work. So, dup, dup. I think we can close that, but it doesn't matter. So uh, let's go to Reaper. Uh, this looks fine to me. I still didn't uh, configure my audio. Uh, I have no idea what is missing, but right now it's fine. So let's check instrument, a new visual instrument. And we have... Da -da 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 -da. Seems like it's this one, but check. No. I don't like this window, so let's close it. Double click and... <sighs> After three hours, I think... Yes! <laughs> First success. And I'm glad about that. So I think we have our first free orchestra. And I can't test it because I need some... Also, some driver, I guess. But doesn't matter. This will be in the next one. So thank you for watching. We have officially our first. Black and stuff. See you soon.